What's up, StarCraft fans? You are watching a cool updateation. I am CTG, and today we are doing Wheel of Stupid on Lock and Load. I am playing this time as Dead Boy, best buddy. My master use will be Gary ability cooldown, so I like a strong Gary. I'm gonna get stat zone bonuses so I can buff Gary more, and structure more for it so I can rush out Gary really fast. Super duper Gary, rather. My ally, uh, Camille, is playing as Nova. Thank you to and Darth Moktofos and Shadow Archon who are supporting me, Paul's Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. So my ally, uh, rather, the map. The map, the map is going to be a Magura map because Chaos Studios, the mutator, is not available in uh, in custom. So what happens is the uh, the mutator, Chaos Studios, will cycle mutators in and out. Uh, each mutator will stay for four and a half minutes and each one, each minute and a half, the game will cycle one mutator out and another one in its place. Alright, so the first three that we rolled appear to be Blizzard, Darkness, and Fiddle Attraction. All these are fine. Uh, Fiddle Attraction will be annoying to deal with, also Blizzard, because Blizzard will uh, force our uh, will force our stat zone back because the uh, the blizzards will kill the uh, the stud lights, or rather disable the stud lights while waiting. It's fine though. It's not a big deal. For most of the for most of the early game, we'll be in the uh, mutator safety zone anyway, so it's not uh, it's not that big of a deal. I'll get some more workers for now, in case I need to switch out get some units then uh, after that they can see the blizzards are starting to roll through they are white meaning they are in the mutator safety zone uh, which will nullify their effects the mutator safety zones are the base the main base and the expansion of each player the so players need to worry about uh, the mutators the weather ones at least, as long as they are in the uh, the mutator safety zones. Aforementioned safety zones. Of mutation. Of safety. There we guys. Right. This. Right, you can see the uh, the, the blizzards do disable it, but it's, it doesn't really matter. It's not really matter. Okay. That is available again. I will... Extend the stat zone. I have selected, uh, ro or rather, Gateway Protoss as the enemy composition. No, no, not Gateway. I have selected Dark Templar as the as the enemy composition. It's fine. But ooh, why are you guys all crying around there? Oh, some idiot rallied all my workers there. Ugh, idiot. Which idiot does that? Very stupid. Very stupid. Person. Here, okay. Get the uh, let's get the zone in here. Unless uh, enemy's not gonna touch it until I actually do something to the enemies. Protoss, huh? Okay, little buddies, don't embarrass me. Oh, oh that's bad. That's actually bad. Eh, it's fine. Not like uh, we'll do a lot. This is the game. Time to make your creator okay. proud out there, little buddies! Right, Gary's out. That's one hell of a healing device. Oh, right, get the super or get the super duper Gary. Alright. Gary. Okay, here come the derps. Okay, blue has switched out, that's good. We can actually uh, start playing again. That's good. All right. I'm in domain. Okay, that's fine. Let me do it there. Okay. Start fighting here. Okay. Just uh, walk through here. Uh oh. Bit of an issue. <laughs> All right. Yeah, gotta gotta walk through here. Ideally, uh, get in the stat zone. There we go. Allies pushing through that side. That's good. Okay, I will get an expansion. 
just in case I need it. But I probably don't. Uh, yeah, clear this section. Set a zero green here. Bro? Bruh, bruh, guys, just bruh. Alright, cool. Now go here. Okay. Okay, the fatal attraction is gonna pull Super Duper Garion. He's actually super duper favorable for me. Oh. Uh, self destruction is fine. Alright, there we go. I will send in the Zergling here. Capture this. Alright, I will activate the, uh, the Gary Zone. Destroy all these guys. That is fine. Alright. Go to. Ooh, go, go through the Blizzards. Okay. And put down a whole bunch of satellites here. I only need one to survive. That's good. Okay, that's good. I'll have this sit here and uh, that will catch on its own. Um, where is my. How did I set the Zerg in here? Oh. Well, I'm burrow with that. I need here to burrow. Wait. Just uh, activate that zone. There we go. Keep the protected. There we go. Alright, put that thing in there. Ooh, look at the lag. Ooh, the lag is real. Okay. We're destroying these things. Alien incubation. Okay, we have, we're gonna get some dude links here. Okay. We did it? We did it! We did it! Yay! Our ally is waiting for us to claim an objective. Oh, we haven't claimed the central lock yet. That's, uh, that is a thing. Not a big thing, but it's definitely a thing. Okay. Alright, allies capturing this. Good. Okay, just, uh, keep extending the zone over here. Alright. So all we need to do is, uh, this lock, then... Ooh, Alice got a nuke, that's good. That is actually good. Alright. All I have to do is activate the blue zone. And then run over here. And deploy both of these. Only one needs to survive, and now stand here and wait for the game to end. Alright. Ooh, this, this, just, this just became... Uh, this, this, just, this just became a game of special delivery. Okay. What is it you? Laser drill, that's fun. Ooh, the spawn there. Let me, uh... Okay. Oh, Let me get some more overlords over here. Okay, that is fine. Alright. I believe that's a... Uh-oh. I believe that's a GG. Yeah? Um... Yeah, that's all. That's all. Uh, that's all there is to uh, this mutation. Just capture the locks before the enemy waves become a thing. The key to this mutation is the fewer or the the, sh the less time you take to beat this mutation. The less time you take to beat this mutation, the fewer mutators you have to deal with. So this time we didn't real we didn't really deal with anything that devastating. Um, eighty to the twenty six. Yeah, we didn't even deal with that many units to be honest. Now let me see the uh, the score screen. Okay, never mind. Apparently, the enemy composition I chose was uh, uh, Reaver Disruptor, which is not one of the easier ones. But uh, turns out it's fine. Turns out that as long as we actually clear the map early, this goes this goes in line with what I said about this mutation in general. The faster you clear it, the fewer waves you have to handle. We only dealt with the four minute wave and the eight minute wave. We didn't have to deal with the ten minute wave here, and uh, yeah, the fewer mutators you have to deal with. Though so once we dealt with our blizzard, fatal attraction, uh, laser drill, alien incubation, uh, darkness, none of those were particularly horrible, to be honest. And uh, yeah, the the fewer rolls you get, the less chance you have of getting something like void rips, uh, poopigators, uh, boom bots, polarity. It's just easier all around if you end the map as quickly as possible. That is the key here. If you have an ally who wants to insist on going for the bonus, that's going to lessen your chances of winning overall. 
Not because he wants the bonus, but because going for the bonus will take time and will give the uh, the uh, the game a chance to roll for a really bad mutator. So yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why I dislike going for the bonus. Anyway, that's uh yeah that's it. Uh, I'm I'm only showing one of these videos today because it's really randomized. The set I got here will probably not apply to you. You'll probably get a different set on your own. Which may be easy or more difficult. Probably more difficult. The ones that we roll are pretty easy, and uh, that goes. That's uh, that's something else that goes with this uh, this, muta this mutation. Uh, you really only need to roll. You only need to keep playing until you roll a good enough set that you get the win. Or if you like torturing yourself, just keep rolling. Just keep rolling to your heart's content. Um, that's it for this. Uh, that's it for this one, I guess. I'll see you next time.